What's up, boxing fans? So check this out. Before I discuss the potential Andrew Ruiz versus Big Baby Miller fight. Okay, so yeah. Devin Haney, he lost, he lost bad. I get it. Actually, he lost very devastatingly bad. But, uh, you know, you can't win them all in boxing. Ain't nothing but one loss. And I'm sure it'll propel him forward. And um, when he comes back, he'll handle business and get this loss behind him. But honestly, the fans of boxing are some um, <laughs> very interesting type human beings. The amount of hate still going on towards Devin Heaney right now is a bit ridiculous. And uh, I think the dude deserves a little bit more respect than this. Um, win or lose, Devin Heaney is a very excellent fighter. All right? And you got to remember back in the old days... A loss wasn't as detrimental as it is today. And I do believe Floyd Mayweather Jr. has a very significant role to play with the, you know, the zero, the undefeated. We win some, we lose some. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is um, understood Devin Haney lost. And I, I, I think even his fans have been talking shit about him. But, you know, what's there to talk about? He lost. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't his night. Plain and simple, you know what I'm saying? But I think the main factor here is how he lost and so forth. Anyway, enough of that. So Intel is saying that um, former heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. will be fighting Jarrell Big Baby Miller August the 3rd on the Crawford versus Israel Madrimov, I believe is his name. At the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. I never heard of this opponent, by the way. I don't know what the hell is going on. Anyway. I don't know what I honestly think or feel about this matchup right now. Let me start with Mr. Big Baby Miller. Big Baby Miller, honestly. <laughs> I think his last hurrah was against Dubois. I mean, if he had won that fight, everything might have been forgotten. And when I say everything, I'm talking about the coming back dirty multiple times on his test, his screwing up his fight against Anthony Joshua, which put Andrew Ruiz in the position Andrew Ruiz was in to become heavyweight champion of the world. And if I'm not correct, the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world i don't think big baby miller deserves this fight or any fight he needs to learn man you gotta um <laughs> first of all you can't come in 333 pounds unless you're seven foot or taller all right i do believe that excessive weight affected uh miller's performance in the ring greatly I've seen him fight before when he was lighter, and he's all right. He has hands, you know what I'm saying? He has ring generalship, but uh, Daniel Daniel Dubois, I believe, was a tailor-made opponent. You know, Dubois seems to can't take the pressure when punched in the face or the eye, and he quits. So if maybe um, Big Baby Miller had targeted that eye, he could have got him to take a knee, and the fight was over. So anyway, I really don't think... Oh, wait a minute, before I forget, plus it's outside the ring. You know, normally I don't give a crap about boxers and what they do outside the ring. That's their life. That's their personal business. I actually focus on them and what they're doing in the ring and in the gym. It's boxing after all, not days of our lives and soap opera crap. But anyway, after that Dubois fight, he did make a handsome paycheck. <laughs> So it's kind of odd that he's being arrested for a potential carjacking or whatever it was. I mean, that's ridiculous. And that's the kind of guy that it's hard to um, favor because of his outside the ring activities. But enough of that. Switch on over to Mr. Andy Ruiz. We haven't seen Andy Ruiz in the ring in quite a while. And you're going to understand this involuntarily lack of fighting is a real, 
How can I put this? I can't put this. It's a real killer of one's career. You got to stay active in boxing. I'm not saying fighting once a month. You know, these guys are on a level where they need to rest <laughs> after a fight because of the um, damages and impact they go through, especially to the brain. So I'm not suggesting Andy Ruiz needs to fight once a month or every three months, but he's been an MIA from the ring for quite a while where the terms ring rust and all that come into play. Where does Andy Ruiz stand in the heavyweight division right now? You know, a while back, he still had a little leeway and potential and possibility, but the heavyweight division has um, shifted greatly. We have Anthony Joshua that campaigned his way back <laughs> into a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division. Yeah, yeah, I know. He stopped in Ganu, but... We're not going to go into that detail because Nganu was being hyped at the time as the next greatest thing in the world. But anyway, Andrew Ruiz, I believe, if he can't get past Jarrell Big, Big Baby Miller, that's potential career suicide. What's he going to do after a loss to Miller? Who, <laughs> I mean, as I mentioned previously, I don't think deserves a fight till he gets his life to. Um, back together a little bit more and possibly drop some weight 333 pounds <laughs> on his frame he's not a small guy but that's a lot of weight it's a lot of oxygen needed to the muscles and lungs and things of that nature so unfortunately i can't even predict or i don't even want to waste my time predicting an outcome to this fight um, i'm gonna watch it basically with my usual out of my usual morbid curiosity but um I'm not sure this is a good fight. I'm not sure it's a bad fight or matchup, but I do believe that uh, if anyone's going to benefit from this fight, it will be Andy Ruiz, greater than Jarrell Big Baby Miller. He might just end up being a professional punching bag, some type of low-level gatekeeper when you have a, hey, you know what? Hold on. I got a better idea. We have two big babies in boxing right now. Obviously, Jarrell Miller is the original big baby. And then, you know, we got other heavyweight that ain't fighting nobody but claims, you know, um, the word is he's getting the next best big thing. I think maybe them two should fight for two things. For the name, number one. I mean, what happened to originality in boxing now these days? I mean, the sugar, all right, that has been abused and used so much the next boxer that comes out with sugar i'm not even gonna waste time watching him fight gotta be some originality in your performance and the name you choose to represent yourself you know what i'm saying anyway that's all i got boxing fans